Wingardium Leviosa. No, no, no. It's Wingardium Leviosa. Hey guys! Hi guys! How you doing? We have all the Harry Potter Pops finally! Finally! Except for exclusives. And they are awesome. They are amazing and the exclusives I will have. Do not worry. <laughs> <laughs> These things are crazy good. Oh my gosh, are we they? We're very impressed with them. You know, Harry Potter Pops are a brand that we've... Well, you mainly. Me! Oh my god, I've been dying for these pops for a year, two years, ever since we ever got since. into Funko, and I am so excited. They look just like the characters. It's absolutely amazing. My only thing is I wish we would expand this line to get, like, yes. all of the characters. So we know that J.K. Rawlings is a stickler with her She's license. She's very particular. She doesn't want anybody <laughs> to mess with it. Obviously, for us Funko fans, we know that Funko does mess with things, but they don't mess with them bad. They're fun, you know? Yeah. And we've already seen J.K. Rawlings has kind of smacked some of J the... No, no, no. Funko no. ideas already down, and that's not cool, honestly. That that upsets us. Uh, it upsets me because it, upsets it hurts her. me because I really want the ones that she knocked down. So. Yeah. So be creative. Let them be creative. Let the artists at Funko go crazy and make the craziest line. Harry Potter is such a big license that they should literally have as many pops as like Star Wars. Oh, and they should have more than Star Wars, in my opinion. Yes. And uh, we will be having another video soon to talk about variants new variants that we want for the coming yeah. year. And there are a lot of Harry Potter ones in there, so stay tuned for that. So let's get started with this review. Up first, we have to start with, you know, the man, the myth, the legend, Harry Potter. <laughs> so I love this. I love that he looks like it's his first year in Hogwarts. He looks really good. I think that his glasses look great. He's got the little scar, of course. I wish his glasses would have had, like, tape on him if this was with first year because of his glasses being broken all the time. Yeah. But I love that. I love that he has his wand, and it just looks like a really cute young Harry. Yeah, very well detailed. I mean, the logo on his, even on his jacket is really nice. He has his Gryffindor tie on, which, you know, is amazing to me because I'm a Gryffindor. And <laughs> I love how he has the crest on his on his jacket, so this, this looks good. I am doing one next because I am Team Slytherin. <laughs> yeah. Suckers. <laughs> and it is Voldemort, and Voldemort you is pretty awesome. You must not be named. <laughs> oh, the, the guy that we can't talk about. <laughs> That's who's in this pop box. You know, if you're not a Harry Potter fan, or, you know, you've really never seen the, the shows, I know you've seen this guy. I know you've seen Voldemort, because just yes. in general, the guy looks sick for a villain. Pretty creepy, pretty awesome, great stuff. And then here's his pop. So, you know, this one is a very plain, very boring isk uh, pop. Voldemort you know, this, is never boring. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, there's nothing, you know, crazy about this, but his pose is really what kind of speaks to me. You know, he has yeah. that Voldemort pose. He looks very evil, and I love how, since Voldemort doesn't have a nose, they made that look perfect yeah, on him. Yeah, very lizardy. Yeah, I was curious how they were going to do that at Funko, and they nailed it. His nose looks very creepy. Yep, the only thing that I would say about this pop that um, maybe it could use is it has pretty normal, pretty standard length fingers, and I feel like that his fingers should be, like, extra long. Creepy. Yeah, the one thing that I wish he would have had is he needs Nagini because he is never anywhere without Nagini because that's the, the snake that's with him all the time. That's yeah. part of his Horcrux. Possibly and an exclusive, maybe? I, maybe that'll be an exclusive. I think that that should be an exclusive, and that's my only downfall, I think, for this one is he doesn't have Nagini. Yeah, and maybe like a glow-in-the-dark variant would be cool with this, too. And maybe like, maybe like a, we're going to get into a bunch of variants in this video, I already know it. We already but know it. But maybe like a, like, where he's really kind of dirty looking, like from the last movie, where they're fighting. Where they're in the fighting scene. Maybe that's something that's coming later. That would be a these sick two-pack. Harry Ooh, and him yes. and like the beam across like the Like a center. duel, oh my Yeah, like gosh. the Batman versus Superman, but in one box. I gotta have that, I have to have that. Oh that my god, sick. if it's not made, you have to make it for me. <laughs> that would be awesome. So uh, there's Voldemort, guys. Pretty awesome. My second favorite character in the entire Harry Potter world is Severus Snape. I love him. I always will love him. Get that. But <laughs> I love the guy, the actor who plays him. He's one of my favorite actors in the whole world. I loved him back in Robin Hood days, so of course I'm gonna love this. <laughs> The pop looks great. I love how he has, like, you know, the whole Severus Snape where he's holding his jacket pose. I think this looks amazing. He's got the creepy hair and all, so he looks good. I love him. Yeah, I know that the Funko artists and probably everybody at Worcester Funko have really been dying to do this line, but 
were turned down probably a lot by WB. Well, luckily Funko was able to get the license, so yes. they really went ham on the stuff. <laughs> That's they for did. Sure. The artists were just like, you know what? I've been waiting to get my hands on this, and they did a great job. Up next, let's do Ron Weasley in his bright orange red hair, <laughs> which is just crazy. He's such a ginger. I love it. He's my favorite ginger. <laughs> So, I mean, he has excellent hair. The sculpt in the hair is really fantastic. They, they nailed that, no doubt about it. Oh my gosh, I just noticed. I love broken. how his wand it's is broken. taped. Like, it's broken. <laughs> yeah. Another great That's detail. That's awesome. It's details like that that really make so, their mark on these pops because mm -hmm. then you know they're actual fans. Yeah, and you know that this is one of the earlier renditions of Ron and the other characters because of his wand getting broken in the, yeah. in the early movies. Sorry. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to do different versions of different movies of these. That's oh god, So much, two. man. So much they could do in this line. It's just absolutely crazy. They will have all of them. And Harry Potter <laughs> fans are pretty crazy. Let's just be honest. Yes, we're very crazy and hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll buy every variant. You know, you don't have to worry about them not selling, that's for sure. No. My third favorite character in Harry Potter is Albus Dumbledore, and I absolutely <laughs> love this guy. He looks amazing. He has the Dumbledore half moon spectacles on. He has a really, like, all-knowing stance with his, the way his hands are together. I love the etched I do pattern in, in his uh, cape or whatever you want to suit. What do you call those things? I don't his even know. His cloak. His cloak and his hat. They're mm -hmm. all etched. They're and not painted the on. The stars that are on his hat, yeah. too, is amazing. That's he some just, detail right there. Even with the way that the spectacles are down, like, slightly on his nose, it looks like he's just kind of like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I uh -huh. know all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like that. That's really nice. That's, that's super fantastic. Now... Here's another True. good variant of this would be flocked, but just his suit. Because isn't it like velvet? It's like a crushed velvet look, yeah. so. So it could be a cool, that would cool be variant cool. there. We can't have the amazing trio without <laughs> Hermione Granger. So nope. here we are with her. She Young in this one. She's very young. I know that early on in the series she always had like that hair pinned to the side too, so I wish they would have done that with her, but she still looks super cute. I love her. She has on her typical Gryffindor outfit with the tie, and she has her wand in her hand and her cute little patent leather shoes with a strap, so I think she looks adorable. Oh, and she has really cute long lashes too. I just noticed those. Yeah, she a little, little so extra good. long. Yeah, they very, nailed it. The hair on that is really great. Oh, I mean, definitely. Wow. She looks beautiful. Finally, the, my favorite pop out of this entire line it's is the too. six inch Hagrid, which is amazing. This possibly yes. could be the best six inch pop that's ever come out besides Hulkbuster. Maybe better than Hulkbuster. I don't know. I, I love Marvel. I but, think it's better. But I mean, I like just it. looking at this, this thing is ridiculously awesome. His hair is so noodly, like crazy. His hair crazy. smells like ramen. I love that. You just want to put your hands on this. If you're an out of the box collector, you're gonna to want to just put your hands all over him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like ah, <laughs> it's really great. I love how he has his pink umbrella, which you know he uses to cast spells with. It's super cute. I think that this is going to be based off of some of the earlier movies and books. Yeah. And if it was based off of the, I think there should be a variant. Okay, I'm gonna go into it. A variant of him where he has this birthday cake that he makes for Harry that says. Happy birthday, Harry, yeah. and it's all misspelled. And or him and his, that'd be really cool. Him and his car. Oh, that's a pop ride I have to have. Yeah. And he's got a, you know, he's got the eye, the eye lines. Oh, it is a motorcycle. Yeah, it's a motorcycle, motorcycle right? Side car. Yeah, 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 that's right. I remember that in the movie. Uh, he has the, uh, you know, kind of the under eye thing going the on. Eyes. And uh, he has big feet compared to normal pops. I love this. This well, is great. With ha with Hagrid, he has to be a six inch. You couldn't have made him nope. a regular size pop. Because he He's ranges huge, in size in the movies a lot. Like he goes from being a super giant to sort of tall to kind of normal to a super giant. He's all over the place in height, which is yeah. the director's whatever. But I think with this pop, he looks great and he has to be bigger than all the others. Yeah, I mean. I mean he's half giant. Really the gem <laughs> of this line so far. Yes. So that's the Harry Potter line that's out right now. Finally. Minus the exclusives, finally. And I am utterly in love with these. I really can't wait to see what Funko has in store for us in the future with I these. Can't I think that they are just going to not only impress us but impress people who are not Funko fans and bring them into the Funko Yeah, world. that's the so, main thing with this line, you know. People there are still Funko fans, not Funko fans out there, believe it or not. I know. <laughs> that are still waiting them. for the license that they want to collect, which is just I mean they got a million licenses, how could you not be? Right. But now that they have Harry Potter, there's so many Harry Potter fans. This is something that's going to really bring a lot of people in, mm -hmm. I think, in the club, if you will. And I think what this is going, this has made me so excited to get like back into Harry Potter. I'm going to whip my old books out and read them again because I'm so excited. <laughs> and, you know, it's it's cool because she has a, like a small collection of Harry Potter stuff because they don't really make yeah. a lot of Harry Potter stuff. Mm -hmm. 
but and you know with her bookshelf of Harry Potter books and yes. wands and, and my autographs by J.K. And, Rowling yeah, and my autographs yeah. by the three main characters. Yeah, I got her a couple of Christmases. Man, I don't know how long it's been. It's a couple, been a while. Yeah, a couple of Christmas, whatever, yeah. a couple of Christmases ago, I got her a picture signed by J.K. Rowling, which is not easy to get. I can tell oh, you. Oh my gosh, it is probably like my holy grail. If the house was to burn down, I'd I'd grab that. That'd be my one thing that I'd be like, oh my god. Other than you, of course, and kitty cat. <laughs> I'll run but, myself. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be my one thing that like, I have to have that! Yeah, I mean, Harry Potter, finally, guys, right? Finally. Yes, and I am absolutely in love. And if you haven't picked these up yet, you need to go get them because they are beautiful. Yep. Good luck, guys. We will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.